Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Just got through finishing up uh, my Monday workout. Wanted to uh, touch base with you guys. The sports world, the world in general, lost a great man today, guys. Lost a great man. John Thompson. John Thompson Jr., the, the late, great head coach of the Georgetown Hoyas, passed away today. And... I don't know about you guys, right, but 2020 can kick rocks. I can't wait for 2020 to be over. And so, you know, in just a few days, we lost some great ones, right? We lost Chadwick Bozeman, right? We lost uh, Clifford Robinson, played, played in the NBA for a year. We lost Lute Olsen. Um, and now, you know, again, uh, the late, great John Thompson, um, I want to talk to you guys today about the road less traveled, right? The, low, the road less traveled. And John Thompson's death reminded me of that. See, I grew up, I grew up watching Georgetown, right? I might have been a bigger Georgetown fan growing up than I am a Cowboys fan now, right? So when I was a kid in the, in the mid 80s playing basketball and football, Georgetown was my team, right? Georgetown made it cool to be a black kid, right? Georgetown made Georgetown University cool, a predominantly white university. Georgetown Hoyas basketball team made Georgetown cool, where you had even white kids, white suburban, suburban kids sporting Georgetown paraphernalia, Georgetown gear. So John Thompson was like a, a larger than life, figuratively and literally figure to me. I mean, he was a hero to many people, right? He was a father figure to some big time heroes. Patrick Ewing, Alonzo Mourning, Allen Iverson, Dikembe Mutombo. I grew up watching the, you know, the greats like Reggie Williams, David Wingate, Michael Jackson, right? But what John Thompson stood for was more than just basketball. He stood for equality. He stood for civil rights. He stood for equal rights, right? He threatened on many occasions to take his team off the court because of certain, certain uh, behavior by the opposing team's fans. And so he was larger than life. He was a man beyond his time, right? Many of the things we're fighting for today, he fought for in the mid eighties, being the first black coach in the NCAA to win a national championship, right? So what I thought about immediately when he passed away was two things. Number one, it's crazy because you, you, you begin to feel mortal, right? And you feel vulnerable when people that you grew up idolizing and watching when they die, when they pass, right? Lute Olsen died. I grew up watching his Arizona teams play basketball, right? When Chadwick Bozeman died, he's younger than me, right? When John Thompson died, that was like a part of me was gone because a part of my childhood was, 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 was built, right? And, 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 and just was around Georgetown and Big East basketball. But the second thing I thought about was we have a short time on this, in this world, a short time on this earth. And what we do with that time is important. You know, I did a podcast recently and they asked me what I do for fun. And I said, well, I, I hunt greatness for fun, right? I seek the best part of me for fun. I try to figure out what I'm meant to do and my purpose for fun. And so I get the fact that many of us, all of us, like to enjoy ourselves with a nice drink, a nice movie, a nice meal, downtime, traveling. But I believe our purpose here is bigger than that. I believe my purpose here is bigger than that. So when people like John Thompson die, it reminds me that I have work to do to leave an imprint on this earth half the size he left to make a difference on this earth, half the difference that he, met, that, that he made, right? So I think about what I have left to do. 
I've been here for 48 years almost. I got plenty of work left to do. So do I enjoy life? Yes, but I got work to do. And so I'm willing and able to take the road less traveled. If that means that people behind me are inspired. If that means that people behind me are motivated to do better, to be better. The way the greats of John Thompson and Lute Olson and Chadwick Bozeman, the way they inspire me to be better, to be great. And so I want you guys to take that as a responsibility, right, to figure out what legacy you want to leave on this earth when you go, it might be tomorrow. Right? What legacy you want to leave, not only on this earth, but in this world and with your name. And yes, you may have time to do that, but what if you wanted somebody who's above you in this hierarchy to see what you can do before they leave? Because John Thompson is around my dad's age. And I have work to do not only for my children and my children's children, but I got work to do to show my father what he built. Show my father what he raised. And so, yes, I enjoy life. I enjoy taking the path of least resistance sometimes. But I got work to do. The same as you got work to do. And so I want to encourage you guys Right, to take the road less traveled. And you might think just because you have accomplished some things that you did that. I want more. Right, so for some of you getting up and becoming the best physical being you can be, right, being healthy and being strong, right, for you might be a road less traveled. For me, it's, it's tough, but it ain't that tough. For me, the road less traveled is doing this. It's taking all that I've gotten from working out and from playing football and from doing finance and from being a CFO, all that is meant to do the next thing in my life. The road less travel for me is speaking and encouraging and then motivating and inspiring. That's my road. What's your road? What's your road less traveled? Because I encourage you every once in a while to get off this smooth, cushiony, enjoyable, paved, smooth road that you know is easy, that you know doesn't leave the footprint on the earth that you need and can leave. Right, get off of that road and do what you know should, you should be doing, what you know you're built to do, what you know people behind you need you to do. And so I want you guys to take a moment because 2020 has been crazy, right? Going back to, I mean, then Kobe, is it Kobe Bryant passing this in this year? It seems like eons ago. But 2020 has been crazy. But if it reminds us of, of anything, that we don't have all the time in the world to leave our legacy in the world. Right? We don't have all the time in the world to leave our imprint on the world. And so don't wait. Right? Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait till next week. Start leaving your imprint today. Start leaving your legacy today. Get off the paved road and you and I together, you and them together, all of us together, let's take the road less traveled. Love you guys.